Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about prosody, and this time I'm going to talk about your speed and your manner of speaking. So in, an, in a lot of languages, um, people speak very rapidly, very fast, very quickly. And in American English, it's not quite as fast as that. We just tend to speak slower. Even we're, when we're speaking fast, we're usually speaking slow enough that you can um, make out each individual word. Um, sometimes our words will run together, especially if they're small words. But for the most part, you can make out each individual word. So this would probably be a typical speed to speak in English. If I was really excited, I would be speaking really fast like this. I might get really upset. You might not be able to hear me, and my voice might go up. Um, if I'm not, if I'm just speaking normally, it would be more like this, in kind of a neutral t um, tone, not too high, not too low, neutral tone. I'm speaking about this fast. You can probably understand me, um, and that would be normal. Now, if you are um, a non-native English speaker, and you're fluent in English, you might be tempted, tempted to speak as fast as you would in your native language. And that might make it harder for people to understand you. Um, and you might not be pronouncing all your sounds correctly if you speak that quickly, especially if they're not habitual, if you're not used to saying your vowels a certain way or your, or your consonants a certain way. So if you want to sound more natural, just kind of slow it down just a tad. The other thing is that in other languages, um, it, it might sound more clipped. In other words, your different vowels and syllables are very short. And you, I'm trying to do it as I speak. I'm not sure how successful I am. But you would speak very short and fast like this, only you would not run your words together. They would each have a distinct start and stop. And even though they're fast, they are very distinct. Um, whereas in typical American English, if you can see the if you can hear the difference the way I'm talking right now, it's more smooth, it's run together, um, it's connected. And I like to use the example of music. If you play an instrument or anything, you'll know the difference between staccato and legato, right? So staccato is where your tongue is very sharp, like um, oh, let's see, ta 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 ta, you know, very clipped, short staccato versus um, legato or a slur, you're just, your, your tongue doesn't even move between the notes because, and I'm talking about playing an instrument right now, for instance, the flute, okay? Um, your tongue doesn't even touch between the notes. You just like, each note kind of slides together, la 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 la. Of course, my tongue is moving right now because I am speaking, not playing flute. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, ooh. Oh, okay, that was a better example because my tongue didn't move at all. It was just, ooh, um, versus do, 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 do. You know, it's, you can hear the difference between. So in American English, if you can kind of think of that in your head to where, imagine your words are just kind of smoothly floating together. Um, you don't want a bunch of spaces in between, even if you are speaking like this. Um, you don't want a bunch of spaces in between. Um, you're going to talk like this and run everything smooth together like this. Um, so you don't have to exaggerate and, and talk like a very tired person like this and run everything together like this. That's too much. Um, just try to listen to Native American speakers on the news or on TV or whatever and see if you can imitate their manner of speaking. Typically, it's not too high, it's not too low, it's not too fast, it's not too slow. It's somewhere in the middle, and they kind of run together like that. So if you want to practice speaking um, a slow speed in English and then a normal speed in English, check out some of my other videos on practicing the different vowel sounds or whatever because all of them have a bunch of sentences in English. And I, first I say it slowly, and then I say it in more of a conversational tone, more natural speed. So see if you can repeat those and imitate the prosody, how my voice goes up and down, and also the speed that I'm speaking. So um, I'll do another one on prosody a little bit later as far as um, 
our voice going up for questions or down for a statement and different things that we use to get our meaning across. But for today, I hope this helps you a little bit with your prosody.